Jesus Christ, this makes me want to fist my mum. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through some old comments that I received on my Free Kick Hawthorne parody. Jeez, the hair's doing plenty, it's gotta go. So not too long ago, I had about 30 subscribers and I was going to try and make an AFL parody. So I made the Free Kick Hawthorne AFL parody and it was on like 40 views after a couple of weeks. So I thought, you know what, I'll try and get some people around it and I posted it on the site Big Footy. And it worked, it got a lot of views um, and really started to get the ball rolling. But boy did I cop it. <laughs> I absolutely got fed by some of the people in there and here are some of their comments. Are you okay mate? That was fucking ridiculously shit. Thank you. No thank you for wasting a few minutes of my life. This jumps ahead of West Coast as the worst song, song in football. Congrats. <laughs> Your song smells like shit. That took Lame to a whole new level. Some random bloke who goes for the Hawks wrote, Wow, with awesome talent like that, you could be the next Justin Bieber. If I had to choose between being Justin Bieber or sitting on Big Footy and absolutely shredding YouTube videos for the afternoon, it'd be a, it'd be a tough one, splitting hairs. Get a haircut. So, you yeah. know. But I hate getting haircuts because you end up with something like this. Bloody hell. It's, um, it's seen better days. Alright, this one's a little bit of a paragraph, but I'm gonna get through it. Oh my god, laugh my ass off. I should not have watched this at work. Got me into such a fit of laughter, I had to step outside to compose myself. Well, that, that means a lot. To brighten someone's afternoon is, is really why. Oh, he's written a little bit more. And let me just be clear, I was not laughing along with you and your video. The funny thing here about this is that there has been very obvious effort put into your production here. This isn't some shitty meme you slap together in a couple of minutes in paint. You've clearly spent at minimum hours on this. Takes a couple of days. Absolutely hilarious, all the effort you put in to get a laugh, then putting it on here on the main board in its own thread only to have it backfire. I bet you thought you'd have 200 likes within the hour. You'd be the next OGAC. Yeah, look, he's fair. Did put it on Big Footy to, um, you know, try and get it out and about. Um, and I've always wanted to be the next OGAC. Growing up, I just, I wanted to be OGAC. I've really um, set my mind to being, oh, who the f*** is OGAC? Jesus, kid, I could already feel the hot cheeks of shame and regret when you watch this shit in five years' time. Yeah, probably. But I don't think that's the worst thing I'll be embarrassed about. I think this is the sort of stuff I'll be embarrassed about. What's the point if we're all gonna die? I'm home alone, I'm home up. Colin! Richard Douglas. I don't care how much he dug, keep digging. <laughs> the best part of the video was the part where I didn't watch it. Oh, great. I've got a sister with a basset that has a big floppy ears and a monster set of balls on him that near scrape on the ground. She has a 12 year old boy and he likes to do cringeworthy shit like this. And like you, he is obviously pretending to himself that it is some sort of confidence thing. Whilst I love my nephew, when he acts like this, I can't help secretly hope the dog teabags him in his sleep that night. What the hell is that? Bit of an old uncle for mine, but thanks for sharing. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you around soon. Thanks.